One of the things I wanted to discuss is that the car, the car is a survivor, but I do believe that the front clip has been painted at some point very, very early on. There, there are just some signs in the paint, although it's still a lacquer, that just make me think that it had been painted maybe at some point very, very early in its life. Um, but as you look down the car, I don't know if you can see that, all of the, the typical lacquer checking that you would get uh, in, a, in an original paint job is there. Uh, so I just, I, I don't know. Gosh, I'm usually better with this. But there are, there are many, many things on the car that make me believe that it has not been painted, including lack of overspray, uh, you know, on the undercarriage, uh, lack of spray on the trim and things of that sort. But then there are other uh, telltale signs that maybe it has been painted. I see a couple, couple spots where maybe the paint has shrunk a little bit and you see a couple, couple sanding marks and things of that sort. So I'm going to present the car as a survivor with maybe one early paint job at some sort and uh, if it ends up being original hey that's that's even better you can see though that all of the trim on the car is absolutely gorgeous bumpers show really nicely you can see that one ding in the rear bumper here notice too I don't know if you got to see in the photos, but the car even sports its original exhaust. It looks like new mufflers were maybe welded on at some point, but when do you ever see factory GM exhaust anymore? Notice too how nice and quiet the car is. I'm always surprised by How mellow the exhaust tone is. You hear so many of these old cars with two chamber flow master mufflers and things like that that you forget that. Throw the resonators on there and, and these things quiet down quite a bit. Many people may not even know that the uh, big block cars came with those resonators. So check that out too. Again, I'll just take a step back here just to give you an idea of what the car looks like as a whole. Hubcaps show very, very nicely just a, a couple of dings here and there from when they were pounded on. Wheel well moldings are dynamite. You see that the car still has power beam headlights. See that 72 Arkansas plate on the car. See how nice and clean the chrome is on this. The car was off the road for, for many years. See that gorgeous midnight bronze paint. Really has nice reflectivity for as old as it is.